YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy Adam. We back again with another video. As you can see in the title of the video, today we're gonna be touching on my style evolution from around 2016, 2017 till today. First off, let me start by saying that my style is nowhere near where I want it to be, but I have come a long way from being a junior, senior in high school to going through college and now being out, out of college now at 22 years old. So hopefully this could be some inspiration to y'all with the people out there that's trying to grow their style. Some of those fits that I wore back then I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, hey, I did it. So let's get into the video. First picture we're gonna start out with is from 2016. I got a polo shirt on. I think it was Izod brand. Some bright uh, royal blue shorts on, like cargo shorts or chino shorts. You know, everyone had Nike basketball shoes on back around that time. From about 2014 to 2017, everybody was wearing basketball shoes or anything. That was the shoes to wear with the fit back then. I had some KDs on. I forgot what silhouette those are. Would I wear the outfit today? No, I would not. Um, so I'll be sure to leave that fit in the past. Let 2016 Adam enjoy that. Now we're moving on to 2017. I'm trying to start to get into the colors now. I had a green anorak jacket on. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. I wore it pretty often. You see, I paired it with the navy blue Asics on the feet. And around this time, I was really big into Asics. One, it was a very affordable shoe. And two, it was pretty comfortable. And it had lots of different colorways. And then you can see that I had the H&M jeans on with the uh, knees cut out, which was another trendy look to wear around that time range. I could see how I'm trying to start to dibble and dabble in different colors, just try to grow my style even more. But uh, I'm gonna still leave that fit in the past too. I don't think I'll wear anything like that nowadays, but hey, I made it rock back then for sure. 2018, freshman year of college. See right here, I'm trying to figure things out even more. I think I was trying to go for like a nice chill look, but also while being in college, you gotta have a certain image, you know, look presentable to people. So I found this. H&M jacket, was it H&M? I think this was a favorite 21 jean jacket. I paired it with a regular white t-shirt. I think it was a polo v-neck under it. H&M jeans, black ripped jeans. And then I think these are some Air Max 90s. I was really into those type of shoes as well. I really couldn't afford Jordans to be completely honest with you at this point in time, I'm in college. So the Jordans that I did have, I wore those every now and then, but I started to experiment with different types of shoes, the sleek look and the Asics and different brands like that. I was trying to experiment with and uh, see what went together. I think we can uh, all say that this was a pretty calm fit. Nothing was going too crazy with this fit. And like I said, I'm still evolving my style to this day. And uh, I was trying to still figure that out then. All right, on to 2019. Like you see right here, I'm trying to work on my poses for pictures. I think around this time when Fit Picks really started becoming something enjoyable to me. I have a Polo Ralph Lauren crew neck sweater on, some H&M biker jeans, uh, cringe, and then I paired them with some cool gray fours that I still have to this day. I don't know why I act like I had something in my eye, but I thought it was cool then. 2019, Adam could have did a little better, but you know, hey, we getting there, we getting there. All right, now we're on to 2020. Looking back on it, I thought the fit was pretty cool when I was wearing it, but I probably would wear the fit, but maybe change up the shoes a bit. I guess I was trying to have the shoes pop out at the bottom with the regular blue jean look and then the white hoodie at the top. These were the blue to great Jordan ones that I had. I recently sold them a couple months ago. This was the type of style I was going with back then. I was really still big into jean jackets and stuff like that. And the jeans with the rip at the knees, I was still big into that too. At this point now, I'm a junior in college, and so I've been through a lot of different phases with my style and my aesthetic. And uh, now I think this was the last time, around the last point where I was still wearing skin, a lot of skinny or slim fit things. After that, when the pandemic hit, I really started to get into a little more baggier things, a little more comfortable um, items and pieces. All right, we got another pick from 2020. 2020 was a year I also got into vintage really heavy. I really started to see a lot of vintage NASCAR tees and a lot of vintage rock band tees and things like that. And I was really into that heavy. As you can see right here, I had a vintage Jeff Jeff Gordon NASCAR T. Um, Jeff Gordon was my favorite race car driver growing up so once I saw this uh, piece I had to get it um, and I thought the colors were so dope on it the bright rainbow colors and you know I had to pair it with the blue to great uh, Jordan ones it was the perfect color way to go with the uh, t-shirt um, and some regular black H&M shorts and black fitted looking back on it now I would get the t-shirt a little bigger 
and I would get the fitted a little bigger as well because you could tell how they're both small on my on my head and on my body. This was really early in the game when I was getting into the vintage game. This was still very early, so bear with me. And then we got one more picture right here from 2020. This style I was really heavy into as well. I was started getting to cargo pants and I started to get into flannels. I think around this time everyone was going for that Travis Scott look. Straight and so your boy was doing the same thing. Started getting more vintage tees in. And so I paired this Sawyer Brown vintage tee with, I think it was an H&M flannel, black beanie, and some minimal uh, cargo pants with some black cat Jordan 4s. I think this was the doorway into me getting into real streetwear uh, with the cargo pants and with the flannels and things like that and the vintage tees. But I can still see that I've come a long way since then. I'm not just wearing the vintage tees with cargo pants anymore. I'm trying to get into different types of pants, different types of look, just to keep things fresh, keep my style fresh as well. All right, we've made it to 2021. I think I came a long way with my style starting beginning of 2021. This is when I started to get into the Carhartt jackets. I started getting into the baggy look. I really like this fit pick. I really like this style. I still wear the Carhartt jacket to this day. And I'm trying to get more jackets like that as well. I'm trying to get some other jackets like Dickies Eisenhower jackets is another good jacket to wear. If you want to wear jackets in the spring, summertime, um, that jacket is a really good jacket to wear uh, because it's not thick. It doesn't have a lining in it. So you could be able to be breezy with it while the temperatures are a little bit warmer outside. But the streetwear, workwear look, I was really getting into this heavy. And so when I cop this, I fell in love with Paul Hart and I fell in love with the whole workwear aesthetic. I still try to rock stuff like that to this day. 2021, I really was making moves with my style and really was growing. I really love the fit picks that I got from that year. All right, we're in September of 2021. This is a birthday fit pick. The pieces that I have on uh, the jacket was a Sherpa jacket by Pleasures. It was blue with hints of brown in it. It was like plaid. I had a blue and brown fitted on. I had the jaded men carpenter pants on, brown carpenter pants, which I still wear to this day. I love their brand. So jaded, hit your boy up. I had the uh, Jordan 1 Hyper Royals on. We made it to 2022. We just made it to earlier this year. This fit right here, I'm wearing the Yeezy Gap hoodie that he came out with a couple months ago in 2021. I love this hoodie. I wear this hoodie almost all the time. I'm wearing some vintage uh, real tree camel pants and some New Balance 992s. These were the Omnion Door collab with New Balance. I really like this fit. I love the Yeezy Gap hoodie. I need more. I'm going to cop some more soon, some different colorways. I love the crop hoodies now. I want all my hoodies to be cropped if I could. With the camo pants, I love the camo pant look. It goes along with the vintage, with the streetwear, and with the workwear type of look. Um, so camo pants I'm really getting into and I really want to get more camo pieces into my wardrobe as well. This is my first pair of New Balances that I bought with the Omnion Door and New Balance collab. And these shoes are so comfortable. I feel like New Balances are still affordable right now. They're coming out with some shoes now that the resale market is crazy right now on. But I really like this fit. I really like this aesthetic. And as you can see, my poses get better and better each fit pick, man, as the years go by. Nowadays, I really feel like I got some good poses now that just adds to the aesthetic of my look. And now I also take a note of the locations of my fit picks as well. If y'all would like for me to make a video on how I try to find the different types of locations based on my fit picks, or based on what type of outfit I'll be wearing that day. Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make a video on that because I think that's another cool thing too to put in a little bit more effort into like finding a cool location that will go along or complement your outfit. If y'all want me to make that type of video, y'all let me know and I'll do that for sure. This is a fit pick from last month that I did and this was a crazy fit pick. I'm wearing a cardigan from Minimal. It is a cream and black like zebra type cardigan. I think I was wearing like a regular black tee under it. Carhartt pants I had on the Stussy Nike collab Air Force Ones and then I took off the black laces and I threw in cream laces to complement it with the cream in my cardigan and then I had a pearl necklace on as well. When it comes to accessories, accessories are another big thing. I could take a basic fit to a fire fit. I feel like hats, I feel like necklaces, jewelry, rings, all that could take your outfit to another level. There's many varieties to choose from, many different brands to choose from, but just see what you like and what works with you and what complements you the most. Just experiment and check things out, man. Last and final fit pick, this is from a couple weeks back. This was a fit that I wore in another past video. If y'all haven't checked that video, 
go check that video right after this one. I wore a Carhartt uh, gray, charcoal gray vest. It was had Mississippi State uh, embroidered on it. I'm not a Mississippi State fan at all, in no way, shape, or form, but I thought it was super hard with the colorway, and uh, I already knew that I could throw it on with some black, and I had some gray shoes that I could pair it with. So I paired that with a retrovert hoodie and then some minimal jeans and my cool gray four Jordan fours. I'm just looking for any type of pieces when I go to different events or when I'm looking on grilled or online that you wouldn't see nowadays. You know, everybody's trying to do the one of one thing. I'm really honestly just trying to find things that speak to me and speak to my style, but also are different and pieces that you don't see every day. I'm really liking this style of clothing that I'm wearing now. I got some clothes on the way that I'm gonna do a review on soon. So y'all just stay tuned for those videos. I really think these uh, underground brands that are getting more exposure now, they're coming out with some great pieces that I think y'all would like too. I think another thing that I could say that I'm really into now too, is not trying to buy something just because of the price tag. I know people nowadays, high fashion, when it comes to brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Dior, brands like that, the price tag does not always mean that you're gonna be dripping. I know we all know those certain celebrities, and I'm not gonna say their names, that think that they're dripping just because they can afford this certain price of clothing, but in my opinion, I really don't feel like they don't be as stylish as someone that could go through something and put some things together. I'm totally for getting pieces that you like and not just because of the brand or not just because of the price tag because at the end of the day it's about what you like and what you find yourself being most comfortable in if i could offer one piece of advice it would be that when you're trying to find your style find things that you like you don't have to spend 500 dollars on a t-shirt and some jeans or some shoes just to think that you're you know putting it on so that's going to be it for the video man i hope that y'all enjoyed this video i enjoyed just being able to look back on my old outfit to see my how my style has evolved from then to now. Hopefully I could do this video again soon. Maybe I'll do it again in the next year or two or so. Uh, see how my style has changed even more. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all want me to make a video on how I find the locations for my different fit picks as well. And I will get on that. Y'all stay tuned, man. Like I said, we're gonna have more videos on the way. A lot more different types of content, more videos like this, more vlogs on the way as well. Y'all stay locked in with your boy and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video, man. Peace.